Guys and gals, I'm having a rough day. Okay, I have been driving around trying to find a place to film today's video for the last two hours and I'm running out of daylight now because there's been a problem. It's either the wrong lighting or it's too windy or something like that. And you know what? We're just gonna manufacture a location right here on the back of the tailgate, roll with it and deal with the consequences in post because that's how we do movie magic and all that sort of stuff. So today what we're talking about is this. This is a rifle bag and rifle bags are weird for me because I use them sparingly, but for very specific purposes. So usually I just take whatever it is that I'm testing and just yeet it in the back of my truck. Usually not mine anyway. It's usually going back to the manufacturer, so it's not really my problem. However, I recognize that not everybody is me and you might want to keep some of your stuff nice. So the way I generally use rifle bags is a very specific instance, and that is I'm an all groceries in one trip kind of guy, which means that I want to cram as much crap into that bag as humanly possible. I want to I want it to approach a deadlift when I pick it up because I don't want to make another trip. I want cameras in one side, one hand, and then my subject matter in the other. So ammo, magazines, rifles, pistols, all, all of it right in one bag. And I think we've got a pretty good contender here. So this is the Tacticon battle bag. It's a dual rifle case. I think you can do more than that. I'm going to walk you guys through the, the thing, get you some close-ups on some of the finer points of it, and then we'll talk about a critique towards the end. So there's a couple different ways to handle this, but the way I'm going to do it is to start on the outside and work ourselves deeper into the bag and get more feature rich as we go. Starting on the front panel here, you can see that we have three pouches and those three pouches are as follows. We have two identical smaller pouches and one large one. They're secured with buckles and on the inner face we have a Velcro with a cinching device that is elastic. These two pouches that are identical have dividers in them so it's just a single layer of fabric divider so you can rudimentarily sort whatever junk you throw in there. Pouch in the center, Velcro spot on the front so if you want to put a different patch on there this one has an American flag on there. Two buckles, two sections of Velcro. This one is undivided so it's just a big open pouch. Those are the front pouches, but next to the front pouches, there's some stuff I wanted to highlight here. We have these two buckles, and they are attached to a sewn-in rigid strap that runs basically the vertical of the bag. That is a strap that acts to make the bag more rigid, but also these are there to be able to tension the bag tight. So you can suck a lot of air out of the bag if you so choose. So you put your stuff in there, you zip it all up, and you basically pull on that sucker on both sides and you've compressed the bag. So relieve the tension really quick. That rigid strap basically comes all the way up and turns into one of the handles. In addition to this primary handle like fast method, we also have closures here that allow us to again tension the bag should we choose to do so. On the sides, we obviously have some molly panels. So if you wanted to grow the bag more and add more pouches, then you have the option to do that. But then also on either side, we have these zipper closures that allow us to be able to get a full hands deep on either side, putting in like Allen wrenches and other crap like that. Or uh, that's probably the depth of a magazine. Magazine in. Depth of the magazine. Looks like you got room for maybe two of them. This whole section of pouches is mounted on top of a zipper pocket. So if we run these two zippers right here, this thing basically folds down. And as you can see, we have elastic magazine closures here. And then on the other side, we have two pouches, one small one, one large one. Now I mentioned that this is a dual rifle bag, but I don't have rifles in it today. What I have here are actually two count them two and move this ammunition out of the way. Short belt shotguns. So it'll zip completely flat. And what we have here on either side is a very healthy pad. It looks uh, to be about a half inch in thickness on both sides that the, that the shotguns are currently sitting in. And then between them is this divider that is another piece, but it can also fold out as well. So say I wanted to carry a third weapon in this bag, I could very conceivably put it in here, fold the pad over it, and then take the whole thing and roll it over again. Let's talk retention. Velcro straps, two of them on either side, and then 
in the corners, we have a stock pocket and it's on both corners. So it doesn't matter what the orientation of the weapon is, particularly if you look at this guy, super short, doesn't quite make it all the way. That divider that I mentioned, Velcroed in, but it also has these little snappy bits. So it's not just Velcroed in. It does have some hardware that holds it in there as well. But because this thing is nice and wide, you could conceivably pull this out and use it as a shooting mat if you so chose. This guy. They don't actually meet up at the top. There's a, there's a section to keep them from meeting. But what we've got here, are our backpack straps. It does fold almost completely flat. In fact, it, when this is zipped up, you don't even really know that it has the ability to do that because it basically becomes part of the bag. Now, the last thing that I wanted to show you guys before we go to a critique is this, none of my other bags have this. This is pretty cool. There is a thick piece of nylon. I wanna say that it's two ply and it has some padding material in it, and it runs three quarters of the perimeter of the bag. So it starts down here, it runs up all the way over the top and down to the other side. And the only reason I guess it doesn't go across the bottom is because the bottom has its own. But the idea is that the weapons go in there, this piece goes over the weapons, and then the zipper goes over that. So it keeps your muzzle from getting all dinged up and stuff like that. Now I mentioned that I had one critique and this one's really simple. This is a 36 inch bag. So this is for like your ARs and things like that. And then they offer a full size bag for some of your larger rifles. What I would like to see them do is give me a slit in here, in each pocket or just one of the pockets, maybe even. So like say I want to take an AR out, but I also want to take my 6.5 Creedmoor out. Or say I've got my suppressor hard mounted where before it fit in that bag perfectly, but now the suppressor doesn't quite fit in the bag. Give me the option to zipper a zip and then have like a little extension that comes out that gives me just a, a little bit to be able to use some of those longer guns in concert with my short bag. Because I really like how compact this bag is and most of my stuff is gonna fit into this bag, but I got a couple pieces, particularly when the suppressors are mounted, that they may not fit quite well. All right, I'm gonna interrupt myself. I don't care about the finish on my barrels. I don't care about the Cerakote on my suppressors that's pretty much all baked off at this point in time anyway, getting dinged up and running against the side of a suppressor. But there are people out there that do care about that sort of stuff. What I would suggest is just a slit in the side of the bag that has a Velcro closey or snappy closey, something like that with the ability to add some kind of baggie to go over top of that so that when the device sticks through the bag that it's not just smacking off the bulkhead of your truck, things like that. Again, is it a game changer? No. Is that a feature that they should drop everything in production right now and integrate? No, but if they're gonna make a future iteration of the bag, perhaps consider that for the shorter bag at least because I think that it could add some utility to the bag that would make people Love your product all that much more. Anyway, off my soapbox, that's a look at the Tacticon dual rifle battle bag, and it's gonna go into the rotation. And I will follow up in about a year or so and tell you guys if it broke at all, which I don't think it will. I think you guys can tell from a lot of the pictures that I showed you that it looks to me like it's a pretty well-made bag. So if you're looking for a bag, then I have a link in the description box down below that you guys can use to get more information on the bag. And thank you guys for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. And we'll see you on the next one.